eight. All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome again to the call. This is Benita Brantley, Trading Diva, your HFX sniper, the BYOB Cash Out X HX FX Simplify. It's like a ton twister. Right, the BYOB Cash Out HFX Simplify. That's what's going on tonight. That is what's going on tonight. So um, let me go ahead and get my thing situated here. So let me bring up some charts um, and let me get everything settled and ready to go so we can get things going. All right, I hope everyone is doing well on this Wednesday evening, or I should say Wednesday night is what I should say. Everyone should be doing well on this Wednesday night. Um, so, all right, so there's been a lot of things going on this week, but it's been an amazing week, an amazing week. And I am happy that all of you are here to join me tonight on the BYOB Cash Out HFX Simplified, all right? Because that's what we do here. That's what we do. We simplify everything. We simplify a lot of things because we want everyone to be very profitable on their trade. So before we all get started in this, you know, we don't want to forget some important things, right? And those important things are our affirmations, affirmations, right? Our affirmations are important because we have to speak what we want to happen in our lives. So one of the best affirmations, well, there's really no sort of best affirmations. They all are good because they're your personal affirmations. But let's go over some that we like here with the BYOB movement. So one affirmation that we all know that we are, and that is, I am the signal, right? I am the signal. Another one, I am a BYOB master trader anointed for wealth. Uh-huh, uh-huh, because that's what we are. We are anointed for wealth because we are the signal, right? Because that's what we do. And you know what else we do? We profit on all our trades. Repeat, I profit on all of my trades. And as we always say, an educated trader is a profitable trader. And that is what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be learning how to educate ourselves so we can profit on all of our trades. All right, so another thing I like to just, let me get back on here and just acknowledge some other things while we have more people that's joining on to our, to our group. So I just wanna recognize a few more people before we get started, because I know we have a lot more people who joined this call. So I'm just gonna go out there and say, welcome Buffalo, New York, I see you. Welcome Orlando, thanks for joining the call. Welcome Jacksonville in Minnesota. Okay, let's get started. All right, we set our affirmations and I'm really hoping that everybody do have their affirmations, um, their own personal affirmations that they do um, for, you know, for yourselves. You know, we always say drop your affirmations in the chat, which is great, but, you know, we also want you to rememberize those affirmations and say those affirmations every single day because we want them affirmations to come true um, in your lives so you can also be a wealthy BYOB or like we always say in the, in the beginning. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started what we're gonna do. So let's talk a little bit about what we did last week. Last week, um, you know, these the, uh, the BYOB 
HFX is, you know, I should say HFX simplified. I don't want to miss the whole title because that's what it is. It's a simplified um, strategy when it comes to HFX. So what I want to say is that, you know, I want to just bring back just a little bit of what we did last week. And I just want everybody to know that, you know, what we currently doing is building a foundation, building a foundation so we could be able to trade what I like that like I like to say trade with ease and not just trade with ease but you also want to be able to be an educated trader you want to make sure that you have all the tools at your fingertips everything that you need to do just so you'll be able to get into the market be able to um, profit on your trade. So this is why we have a foundation call, just so we make sure that we be able to build on what we have. So each call, we're constantly building and building on, um, on this foundation. So when you begin to trade, at least we have covered that. All right. So again, welcome to the call. Um, and let's get this and let's get started. So first, let's start off. What we start off with is the BYOB cash out strategy, right? That is something that we do on every call because it's important. And before we get started with that, though, I like to know who I have on the call. So if you are new to HFX and you are new to the BYOB movement, please put in the chat your 111s. And if you have been trading with us for a while and you've been cashing out, put it in your 222s just so I know who I am working with tonight and make sure that everything is covered on all levels. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, all right? Okay, so we have all our 111s and our 222s. Okay, so let's get started with the BYOB strategy. All right, so I am going to start with Let's go here. What I'm going to do um, in HFX, when you are trading HFX, there are a few ways that you can trade. You know, like we always say, when trading, find your sweet spot, right? So whether you want to trade with a three minute, five minute, 15 minute, you find your sweet spot, you find what's comfortable to you. So what I want to do, just so everyone know that you can use this strategy on any time frame. But what we're going to focus on tonight is we're going to focus on the BYOB cash out strategy on a three minute time frame. All right. And the reason why I chose three minute time frame, because when you're trading HFX, when you find your sweet spot, because we all have that sweet spot. It's either going to be your three minute time frame, your five minute time frame, or you just might want to do 15 minutes. Again, we're going to find our sweet spot. So I'm going to start the BYOB cash out strategy with the three minute time frame. All right. So that's what we're going to start with today. So since I am here, I am going to roll on over and we're going to start with a buy. Okay. Let's start with a buy. And let me see how far am I? Let me make sure, I mean, well, let's just use this great old arrow. There it is. It helps you pull everything away. So we're gonna start off with a buy, and then I'm gonna show you a sale with the BYOB cash out strategy, and then we can go from there. So we're gonna start with the buy. So there's three major indicators that we look at when it comes to the buy, right? We look at our stochastic, which is down here. We look at our Hikinashi candles, which are the red and the green candles. And then we look at our PSAR, which are these dots. These are the dots, okay? Now the PSAR is also called the PSAR stop and reversal, but for short, we call it the PSAR, all right? So when it comes to a buy, all right, 
we want to look at the stochastic and the by has to be at or near the 20. And okay, and I have my little things here, but it has to be at or near the 20 down here. And it has to be the blue line cross the red in the upward momentum. As you see, it is going upward. And if you look over here, you have your numbers over here. It start from zero to 100, all right? So this is a 20 mark and it is at or around the 20 down here. The next thing that we wanna look at is our Higanashi candles, okay? This is a green candle and the green candle have to have a flat bottom. And on here, there is a flat bottom. And with that flat bottom, we also have to make sure that the PSAR has flipped as well. And what we mean by flip, we need to make sure that the PSAR is underneath the actual candle, all right? And it is, as you can see, it lines up here. So when you get your first flat candle, that's the indication that, okay, this may be a trade that I can get into. So what I wanna do is I wanna draw a line just to give other people some visuals, all right? And I am going to make this color, I'm gonna make it white, all right? And I also wanna add another nifty thing, which I have this, this angle, okay. Oh, wrong one. Let me go back, let me change that up. All right, let's get the right arrow going on, okay. So we have, all right, there we go. Let me move this over. So if you look at the line that I have, the blue line crossed the red, and I'm gonna move this out the way because I know it can get in the way sometime and I want you guys to see. But if you look at the stochastic and you look down at the bottom, we have the blue line crosses the red, we have a green candle with a flat bottom, and we also have a PSAR that has flipped. Okay, that is going on here. And just for you guys can see it again, this is what we got. The flat candle and the arrow. And that is a, a good indication for a buy, okay? So now let's talk about a sale. What are you supposed to do when you get into a sale? So let's see if we can find this one. Well, we can work with this one. Let's work with this right here. Since it started in a sale and then it went into a buy, let's talk about this because I know when you guys see this, you are probably wondering, oh my gosh, this is not ready or however the case may be. So let's talk about it. So when it comes to a sale, we want to talk about when the, again, we look down at the stochastic, which is here. And it's at the top near the 80 or at the 80, okay? And it is. Then the next thing we wanna look at is a candle. The candle with the flat bottom. Now, our flat bottom candle is not until we get here. And also the PSAR does not flip, as you can see the dots, until we get here, okay? So it crossed here, but we cannot get into this trade until we get a flat top, until we get a PSAR flip. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm going to draw our beautiful line that has a flat bottom. I mean, I'm sorry, a flat top. And I'm gonna put it here. And because it's a sale, I'm gonna make it red. Um, and then I'm going to get an arrow. I'm gonna to get that arrow and I'm gonna put that on top just so you can see again, these are for visuals. I do not recommend that you mark your chart like this if you are going to trade, because that's not what it's for. I am showing you guys for visualization because some people are visual and some people want to see, right? So again, this is when the trade started to change right here. The blue crosses the red and a downward momentum. But we cannot get into this trade until you get a flat candle at the top. 
and I'm just gonna move it again so you guys can see. We got a flat candle at the top and we have an arrow right there to show you. That's when you're able to get into that trade. At the top, near or close to the 80. When we get there, then we have to wait until we get our flat candle. With the PSAR on top is up here. So the PSAR is at the top, one flat candle, and then we have an okay. So this is the first part of what I would like to say of the BYOB cash out strategy. These are what you have to look at first. All right. The next thing that we want to look at is the confluence. So if you are trading on the three minute, all right, if you decide to trade on a three minute time frame, if that's your sweet spot, then your confluence is going to be, we're going to drop down, all right, to one minute. And we're going to see when we drop down to one minute, is it going to be selling and is it going to be buying? All right. So let's see where our lines are. And we're right here. Okay. So for the sale, is the sale confluent with our three minute time frame? And as you can see, we do have a red candle. We have a flat is right here. We have a red candle with the flat top and the PSR has flipped. And we look down at the bottom, all right? And we have the blue crosses the red in a downward momentum. So we're still good there. Now let's look at the buy, right? Is the buy still buying? Okay, and let's move this out our way. Is the buy still buying? Let's see. We have a green candle. <laughs> it is, it's a very small green candle and it has a flat bottom, but you can barely see the little tiny wick, all right? But when you look down at the bottom, we do have the piece star has flipped, okay? I'm gonna put that there. The piece star has flipped. And when you look at the stochastic, it is still going up in an upward momentum. So on the one minute is good. Now I will say this particular pair at this particular moment, there's some choppiness that's going on. But let's go on to the 15 minute because the 15 minute, that is the other one that we will look at when it's time for time um, for your time frame confluence. If you are trading on the three minutes, you will go down to the one and then you will go up to the five. All right. I'm sorry, the 15. So let's go and see if it's confluent on our 15. Okay, as we scroll on over. So for the sale, and let me just move our lines. For the sale, we still have a green candle on the 15, but it's not out. We still have a, a, a grid candle for the 15, but it's not a flat top, but it still looks good. If you look at our next candle, we would probably have to wait a little bit to get into that one for the sale. And for the buy, it's not looking good for our buy. It's not. For the buy, and we move this candle over because our this is here. For the buy, it is not set up and not ready for the buy. So we wouldn't wait for, we would not get in for the buy. We would definitely have to wait for a buy in order for us to get into that trade. We wouldn't have to wait long, but we would have to wait. So that is our BYOB cash out strategy. Now I know that if you are doing the confluence on the three minute, like I said before, then you will have to drop down to the one minute. And if you're doing a three minute and down to the 15 minute. All right, and then if you happen to trade with the five minute, all right, 
um, then you will have to do your confluence on the 15, I'm sorry, on the one and the 30, if you are going to do it on the 15. All right, so when it comes to the confluence, just like we always say, is it something that we will put on your watch list? Is it something that you'll be able to um, wait on and, and get into that particular tray later? Is it something it looks like that we can get into by putting it on our watch list? So that is something that I want you guys to remember as well. All right. So let's start off with some other things. So now that we did the time frame confluence, um, let me see if we have anything else here. All right, everything is looking so good. It's good, looking good in our chat before we continue to move forward. All right, so let's talk about something that we started last week that we was not able to pretty much dive deep into because, you know, time run out. But this is something that Ms. Dyer talked about a long time, or it still talks about always, and that is our support and resistance lines. So I know that, you know, we practice our support and resistance lines when it comes to the harmonic scanner, because that's the homework that she gives, which is also a good way to learn how to do your support and resistance lines. Ms. Dyer also, Dartre Whisperer, also teaches us on using the line chart when it comes to your support and resistance lines. So let me take all these off our chart. And then let's focus on support and resistance lines. Because when you are trading, when you are trading the BYOB cash out of HFX simplified, you will need to learn how to use your um, support and resistance lines, how to trade with the support and resistance lines. It's really important. Um, when you learn how to do them. So let's talk about how to use our support and resistance lines. And when we do our support and resistance lines, we want to do it on higher time frames, right? Why? Because the higher time frames let us know where we are in the market. And remember, the low time frames give us the activity in the market. Remember that, okay? Especially when it comes to the BYOB cash out HFX simplified, the activity is important when it comes to us trading because those are the lower time frames that we're looking for. Why? Because we're scalpers. You know, the BYOB uh, cash out HFX simplified is for scalpers. You know, people who like to scalp, like to jump in and jump out of the market. That's what is good for. Um, so you may be a scalper, you may not be a scalper, but you might want to, you know, dib and dab a little bit into the H, the HFX. So let's get to learning how we could do our support and resistance lines. So I have it right now on a one hour. And one of the reasons why I have it on the one hour is because I know when we do our, our harmonic scanner homework, we have to pull the points for the one hour to pretty much mark up our charts. So if you haven't did that, you know, just try it out. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is draw our support and resistance lines. And when we draw support and resistance lines, we want to make sure that the points are touching at least three times or more for us to draw our lines, okay? So on this one hour, this is where we currently are. So on our one hour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the horizontal line, which you see right here. I'm gonna show two things to you. Um, so, Cause I'm at the point where I can eyeball, but you might not be there. And I'm gonna show you where you can go to help you with that, okay? So this is where we currently are. So I'm gonna put a line right here. Or well, I thought I was gonna put a line right there. You know, uh, I guess I probably gotta actually click on it to put the line right there. So, 
I'm going to put a line right here. And the reason why this is where it's currently at, but it's been hitting this for a while. I mean, quite a few times, as you can see, and I'm actually going to move it up just a little bit more because it's been hitting this line. And let me change this to yellow, change that to yellow, just so you guys can, can see a little bit more better there. So I'm going to put a line there. I'm going to make another line. And I'm going to put one here. And then I want to make another line and I am going to put one here, all right? And I'm also gonna put some at the bottom. Now, I will say this though, when you begin to draw your support and resistance lines, you're gonna get so excited. And next thing you know, you have a whole coloring book of lines um, of support and resistance lines because you begin to see where everything is and you'll kind of click, 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 you get excited. But then you're gonna realize that all those lines aren't needed <laughs> on what you're doing because what will happen is you will have a coloring board. I mean, you know, everything will be in so many different colors and then you can, what I call support and resistance, you know, overload. Um, so these are, I'm only gonna do these four. Is there more? Absolutely. There's one here, there's one there. I could even drop down here. But I'm only gonna I'm gonna stick right here with these four lines because I don't want to go overboard on my support and resistance. And when you have it on a one hour or even the four hour, you can do it on a four hour as well. But when you have it on your one hour, um, your bait and I mean just I like to say you know scrunch up the chart because you get a better visual. Um, if I go down, there are plenty of areas where you can put support and resistance lines. But since we are working with the one hour, this is what we're going to do. So this is one way that you can do it, right? But let's change our candles, okay? I wanna change the candle to the line chart, all right? And when I change it to the line chart, I'm gonna show you with the lines that I currently have, you can see right here, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point. That's at least three points. You want to make sure that you get at least three points or more on your support and resistance lines. So I'm going to show you this, and then I'm going to show you um, looking left even more, you'll be able to see how many times that the candles have hit the support and resistance lines. So that's the first one, right? So let's go to this one. How many times did it hit this one? It didn't went through right here, and it went through here, went through there. And then we have our two peaks right here that it hit there as well. And then let's drop down to this one, okay? We have a point, some points here. It went through here. And you keep looking left and you'll be able to see how many times it hit this line. And that is what we're looking for. We're looking for how many times that the candles hit these lines, how many peaks that we hit, you know, that it hit. And if you look at this last one, again, all the way through, you see that it touched this line. Okay. And what we say by looking left? because it's important. We always have to look left to see what's going on sometimes, right? So if you want to look back, you know, whether it was yesterday, last week, or however the case may be, you'll be able to see how many times it hit this, right? By looking left, and that's important. And again, all this activity you see down here at the bottom, that is more ways that we could trade, more ways we can add our lines and things of that nature. But we're, since we are currently here, this is where we currently are on this one hour with the, um, where is leading, this is why we stay in this area here. Now, if it happened to drop and we need to put more lines, then we go ahead and we put more lines, all right? So I'm gonna go back to the Hikinashi candles. And then, so since we're able to see this on the one, on the one hour, when you drop down, let's just say to the 15 minute, 
when you drop down to the 15 minute or even the five, the three minute, whatever your sweet spot is for trading with the BYOB um, HS, I'm sorry, BYOB cash out HFX simplified, then you'll be able to look in a little bit more. As you can see, again, when you're trading, you're gonna add more lines, support and resistance lines, be, depending on that time frame that you're going to be teaching on. Now, also another tool that we use just to see how things are going. And can we draw more support and resistance lines in between here? Absolutely, we sure can. But here's another tool that we can use. Another tool that we can use for our support and resistance lines, as I know you heard Ms. Dower, Ms. Dyer and the other educators as well, pivots, right? The one that we use, if you did not know, is the pivot point standard, okay? The pivot point standard is what we use. So when you click on that, and I'm gonna close that out, you will be able to see, and I, and I kind of look at this as, you know, a little bit of a confirmation of your support and resistance lines that you previously, you know, have drawn up yourself. Why? Because you are a master trader. When you look at these charts, you know, you are a master trader. You are the signal. You know exactly what you're doing. Why? Because perfect practice makes perfect. That's what we do. So when you look at this particular chart, you see the pivots. Here's one of my lines right here right near the pivot. This over here is from yesterday. And then you have your R1, okay? So these are some under indicators and some other tools, I wanted to say tools that you can use to help you when it comes to drawing support and resistance lines. So again, you know, when you start on a higher time frame. You know, you're able to see what I want to call <laughs> your lovely dandy handiwork, all those beautiful lines that you created. And again, there's no definitive line, okay? When I look at these, you know, these are my lines. Your lines might not be exactly on the numbers of my lines, okay? Your lines might be a little bit up or a little bit down, all right? but we all see things a little bit different. So there is no thing as the perfect line, okay? Because we see things differently. And it doesn't mean that you're wrong either. It just means that this is what you see. That's why you put in your line there. And again, we have pivots, another tool that can help us as well when it comes to support and resistance lines, okay? So, Let's try, so those are some things, but I wanna say, you know, when it comes to the BYOB cash out, HFX simplified support and resistance lines are very important. And we're gonna talk more in depth on that as we begin to build our foundation when it comes to trading. All right, so I don't see anything in our chat. So let's move on, let's move forward to some other nice fancy things that I would like to show you guys tonight. So we talked about our BYOB cash out strategy. We talked about our support and resistance lines. So let's also talk about when it's time to trade, all right? I know some people was asking, well, when we trade our options and we trade for HFX, where do we go? Where do we go to trade? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off my nice, beautiful handiwork that I have here, these beautiful support and resistance lines that look so lovely, you know? Yeah, I am a little biased. I do feel like they are lovely and beautiful. And, you know, I should have probably get some colors. So it put a little smile on my face. So, you know, you know, y'all understand what I'm talking about. When you be dry, when you be putting y'all support and resistance lines, y'all be feeling real proud, right? And that's how you should feel, proud. Okay, so let's see what we have here. All right, so I'm gonna take these off because I want us to go, actually, I'm gonna leave them on. 
I may have to put them back on, but I want to start with the broker, okay? And when it comes to your support and resistance lines, um, you know, when it comes to, I know some people may be asking, um, is it the wicks? Is it the closing of the candle? Things of that nature. Again, when you begin to trade and you begin to mark up your charts and you begin to analyze everything and see how things move, you'll begin to see, you know, is it the wick or is it the body? Which one is feel comfortable? Again, there's no definitive line. If you want to bring it down, okay. If you want to bring it up, that's okay as well. There's no definitive line in the market. So let's go here. This is the broker that we use for the BYOB um, cash out HF. Um, a, ugh, it's a tongue twister, guys. It's a tongue twister. Just work with me on this. Our BYOB cash out simplified. HFX simplified. Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. Okay, so these are some things that I want to show you when it comes to this broker. All right. So again, as I said. And I always, always say, we analyze everything on the vibrata, okay? We analyze, I'm going to say it again, we analyze everything on the vibrata. And once we analyze it on the vibrata, what we do is we come to our broker and then we begin to place our trades on the broker. Now, this is a bit different from, I want to say, your, your um, original way of trading, or as we sometimes say, the classic way of trading, is you're normally using your MetaTrader 4 to place your trade. Well, this is the broker that you'll be doing everything on when it comes to your um, HFX, all right? So again, let me just point out just a few things that I feel like is good for you to know when you're trading with this particular broker. So again, I'm going to specify and I'm going to say it again. When we are analyzing our trades, we are analyzing our trade on the vibrata. So we see these call alerts. We use call alerts when it comes to um, the vibrata. And, oh, that's an error. I have to come back to that. That's our hourglass. And let me see. Oh, it logged me out. We'll come back to that. Let me get back to this broker. I want to talk a few things. I want to talk about the broker first. Um, a few things that I want you guys to know uh, when it comes to the broker. And then I'll go back um and try and let you see how to incorporate the call alerts that we get on our um hfx um i mean i'm sorry on our uh, vibrata as long and our um and our uh hourglass so let's look at a few things here and then i'm going to go back that way so i want everybody to be on the same page because this is new to some people and therefore I want to just explain on what what you're looking at okay so on this particular broker what we're going to do is we're going to point out a few things that may look familiar all right and one of those things is the candles right we have hikinashi candles on here and we are able to use those because again, we can go back to our vibrata and we have Hikinashi candles there. And therefore we can use the Hikinashi candles when it comes to this broker as well. So how do you get to the Hikinashi candles? Let's click on here. Now, again, like I said earlier, when it comes to trading um, the uh, BYOB cash out HFX Simplify, you will find your sweet spot when it comes to trading, whether it's going to be um, the three minute, five minute, 15, however, you'll begin to find your sweet spot. So one of um, both of the ones that I trade every now and then, you know, depending on how I feel and which way I want to go, because again, I'm a master trader, right? When you are a master trader, you can do whatever you want on this on this uh, financial market. So, Hikinashi candle, right here. All right. 
when you click on the Hikinashi candle, it changes it for you. Okay, I know that kind of made it small. Then also for the on this particular on this one here, the two time frames um, that we mentioned before, you can click on three minute M3 time frame. So I'm going to click there. All right. And as you can see right now, and let me just, you know, zoom this out some. Here's a time right here. This is the time of the candle. Um, and this is the time of the candle. And this is your Hikinashi candles that you want to look at. So what I want you to do as well as, and look at, and this down here, because this is what it will look like. Down here, you have the red and you have your green, you have your sale and you have your buy. Also as you're put in your call, something we talked about last week. This here is a time frame. Okay, so down here, my sweet spot, your sweet spot may be different. Again, all depends on personal preference. What makes you happy when you're trading? But this is where you can trade your time. How long do you want to be in the trade? I have this set for one minute. This is where it says expiration time. This is where you want to want to be when you're trading. I'm going to click on this. It looks like a little clock. You see how I have M1 and then it has like 20, 20, you know, this is breaking down to seconds. Don't recommend that. I recommend an expired time. So you know exactly when you're in and out of that trade. Okay. Now, how do I place a trade? Okay. Now, this is currently over here is currently at $10, all right? $10 is probably for an average person who wants to start building their account or not sure what they want to start their account off with. You can change this. You can change this to whatever you want. You click on it and you see it has a different dollar amount. And let's just say your dollar amount is not up there. Then you can type it in right here on where you would like to start your trade, okay? So, all right, I'm gonna minimize that. So again, this is what's going on down here, if you're not sure. Now, <laughs> some other things I wanna point out, okay? Because I have did this, so I don't want you to do what I did. <laughs> Make sure you click on this one time. Click on the button one time. And it may take a second or two for it to pop up to let you know that you're in the trade, okay? It may take a second or two because you're going to be like, am I in a trade? Am I in it? Am I in it? You know, because you want to get in there why the, why the going is good, right? So I want to say be very careful, all right, when clicking these buttons. So how do I get into the trade? Okay, again, I'm gonna say this is for training purposes because we did not analyze this trade to get in properly. Training purposes, I'm putting that out there. How do I get in the trade? I wanna know if I wanna get in this trade, how do I do it, right? Make sure these things are set up correctly for you because you may get excited, you may analyze the chart and you may go full force on something. So what I want you to do is make sure everything down here is set up. What I mean by set up is the time is where you want it, whatever you decide to choose. Again, whatever your sweet spot is, is set up. However, whatever dollar amount you decide to choose, okay? You, again, you can change, you can go up, you can go down, you know, it's truly, totally up to you where you want to start your dollar amount. There is no perfect amount or perfect whatever. Nothing is perfect, okay? Nothing is perfect, all right? But we always 
So I'm going to jump into this trade um, so you guys can see. And again, this is the dollar amount that you can do for your trades, okay? If you, um, let's see what else. All right, so that's, yeah, I think I got, I'm just making sure I cover all my bases on that. Uh, let's see. So when you get into the trade, right? Once we analyze the trade, okay? And you're ready to get in this trade. Again, analyze the trade first. Analyze where? We're going to analyze the trade on the vibrata, all right? On the vibrata. Once everything looks good on the vibrata, what I mean by looks good, once you do the BYOB cash out strategy and everything is lined up for you to get into the trade, then we go back here and then we find our currency pair you see, these are the different currencies that you can choose from. When it comes to this, you're not able to add your currency pair like we are on the vibrata. You have to be choose one of the currency pairs, okay? All right, so let's see. That's one thing, I'm gonna say it again. We analyze on the vibrata. We bring it back. Once, once we're on the vibrata and the cash out strategy, everything lines up, then we come back. All right. Okay. So how do I get into this trade? If you're going to go for a buy or if you're going to go for a sale. Oh, wait, one more thing. I know, I know you guys are anxious. I know, you know, I know you're anxious, but I wanna make sure I cover all my bases, but I know you're anxious to get into this trade and you wanna see how it works. I know, I know, I know. Just give me a few more seconds and we will get there. But I wanna make sure, Hikanashi Kando, three minute, five minute, 15 minute, however way that you, whatever one that's floats your boat, and it's your sweet spot for yourself, okay? Down here is the time frame, the trade, how much you wanna start your trade with. Again, that is a personal preference on where you wanna start your trade, okay? Again, this is for a buy, the green. This is for a sale. All right, another good thing I wanna point out to you, once you decide to pick the time frame, then you go over here. If you wanna see how long is left on the candle, then you look at that right there, the time frame. So currency pair, when you pick your currency pair, okay? These are the different ones that's given to you. All right, the percentages, you see the percentages, how it has 80%, 70%, 61%, 50%. We always, um, I would suggest, <laughs> I know Dr. B talked about this earlier, but we are in the money making business, Dr. B. We in the, we've learned how to be our own banks, okay? So you see where it says 50%, 61%, it gives you the percentages next to it, right? So that means when you place your trade, it is going to, and where are we at? We are on, where are we at right here? We at 70%, okay. So we at 70% and we're at $10 and it shows you right here, plus $7. That is going to be your payout when you cash out on that trade. It shows you that there, okay? So you wanted to know if I was to get into that trade, 
with that particular pair, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this for a few seconds before I click the button, all right? So when you want to know what you are going to profit, why? Because we profit on all our trades. That is what we do. We profit on all our trades. When you get into the trade, this is what you know that you're going to, your profit is going to be. These are the percentages, okay? So whatever your dollar amount is going to be, you click on the trade and it's going to give you what your payout is going to be. Now, let's just say your analyzation was going great and then we have people who move the market. The president just might wanna happen to come on and say something, you know how they say breaking news and then the president comes on and all that good stuff. And we know he's he moves the market. So if he moves the market and you did not know for whatever the case may be, you didn't know he was coming on, he probably didn't know he was coming on. And it goes in the opposite direction that you want it to go and you're not able to profit on that trade. That means you won't get your, for example, we at 70%, you won't get your 70%, but what happened is you be out your $10. You will not make your $10. So if you're wondering if I'm in a trade and the trade don't go the way I, I would like it to go, you you will be out the money you started with. So if you started your trade at ten dollars, you'll be out ten. If you started your trade at fifteen, you'll be out fifteen. Okay. So they show you your percentage on what you can gain. This is what we see. We suggest fifty percent or higher. I know Dr. B talked about us, but we 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 are our own banks. And we're here to make money. And therefore, we're going to do 50% or higher. Okay. And once you click on it, just like I did, I clicked on, I have the USD, JPY. I have that. That's telling me it's 70%. With my $10, is telling me I'm making seven. So let's just say I increased it into $30, right? You see it over here in the corner? $21, that is what I'm going to profit when I cash out on that trade, okay? So that's how you know, you know, you're going in with, um, <laughs> I see you, Dr. B. <laughs> you're going, you know, when you're trading the BYOB cash out, um, oh my God, I'm so sorry, y'all. I keep... Sorry. When you're trading the HFX, you know what you're going in with and what you're coming out with. All right. So if you make it on this trade, everything goes great because we are master traders. We're going to profit to 70% and we're going to make the $21. If things don't go the way it went, the way you went to go and it went the opposite direction, you know that you will be out of $30. Okay. So I'm hope that is very clear to everyone. All right. So how do I get into a trade? All right. How do, what do I have to do to get into this trade? You're going to press the button. You're going to press the button. Okay. So this is 46 seconds left on this clock. I have not analyzed this trade. Again, for training purposes only, I am going to get into this trade. I am going to pick, I'm gonna go with the buy. And let's see what happens. So if you look over here, it's letting me know that I am, it should have popped up. I don't know, it probably did and I didn't see it yet. But right here, when you get into a trade, there is a line. I, I know, let me see if I could kind of make this a little bigger. Oh, that's the best I can do with that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's a line here, all right? And with this line, it will show you 
in order to profit, if it's a buy, you have to be above this line, okay? Above the line. I know you can't see it because the 30 is in the way, but it's there. And this is our time frame that we are in the trade. And this is the time frame. Okay, it's over. Oh, we'll look at there. <laughs> okay, so this is a good. Oh, it disappeared. That's a good example, though. That's a good example. Let me if we, if we just say this before we wrap up. Okay, so you wondering, <laughs> did I make money or did I lose money on this trade? It didn't move, ladies and gentlemen. It didn't move. Okay. So because it didn't move, what it did was like a draw, okay? And let me go back over here. It did like a draw. So a draw means you don't gain anything, but you don't lose anything. So I still have my $30. Now, if things didn't go the way I wanted to, then this would be a zero. There would be no 30. And if things did go the way it go, because I am a uh, master trader, then you would see my profit in here, which would have been an extra $21 added on to this. We will go more into this on our next BYOB Cash Out HFX Simplified. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will talk more about this on this broker on um, how to place that trade, what to look into. But what I will say is get your broker demo first. Demo first. I'm going to say it again. Demo first before you place your trades. Make sure you demo in your account um, to practice when you're in the trade. So Next week, we will continue with the foundation, continue on adding on to what we currently know so we can be our master traders and we can be that sniper when you dip in and you're dipping out, but we're going to be educated traders. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be educated when it comes to trading. So before we leave, I am going to see if Ms. Dyer has anything that she wants to say when it comes to closing us out. Ms. Dyer? Absolutely, absolutely. A great, awesome, awesome, awesome foundation being laid here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you have got to be excited. I know for a fact, because this is your BYOB cash out. And what you're seeing is the reality that this is applicable no matter what your style of trading is. So no matter where you live and no matter what you want to do, the BYOB cash out is applicable to every style of trading. And now just let me get just, just, just let me get an 888 in the chat if you're receiving that clarity tonight, if you're beginning to understand, because before we dive in, this wasn't originally on our platform. And before we dive in, we have to lay a strong foundation for you all to really begin to understand and for you all to see. And that's all those 888s coming through. That means that she's delivering this with clarity. You're beginning to understand. So you guys can be able to dive in here soon and just jump in and take those trades. And so my super scalpers, I know you all are excited right now, but this is it. You are an educated BYOB master trader anointed for wealth. That is what you are, a BYOB master trader anointed for wealth. And so now, no matter where you sit, you can touch every single thing, no matter what it is that you're looking for, no matter what it is, your style of trading. And I'm just excited. I'm excited for our BYOB cash out HFX Simplify, right? It might be a tongue twister to some of you all, like she said this evening, but the reality is, is it's going to increase our profitability and it's going to increase our bottom line. And that's where your focus needs to be because this is BYOB Cash Out, HFX Simplified. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, I'm excited. And you know where we're going to be in the morning? You know where we're going to be because you should have been in a lot of profit today. You should have made a lot of money today. We'll be back on the line. Yes, we're going to be back on the line at 5 a.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. So get up, come get your Forex pairs. I mean, you really touched on everything today. You touched on everything from your Forex, from your indices, and now your HFX. And so let's walk out, let's walk in wealth, right? Wealth looks good on you. Let's let's walk in wealth. And I will see you all in the morning. And yes, she did make the training look easy. So I will see you all in the morning. God bless. And this will officially conclude this call.